Today's episode of Filmora tutorial is very special. I will introduce two awesome features with the Filmora version 12.5.7. You get the new audio transitions. That is, you can crossfade transitions between adjacent audio clips. For instance, if you have two different background music, the transition seems quite odd and unprofessional. You can of course fade out and fade in to make the transition smoother but with the help of audio transitions on the Filmora 12, you can dramatically enhance the project's soundtrack by eliminating unwanted pops and abrupt edits. So you have four different kinds. Let's start with the first one, constant gain and see what happens. Definitely now the transition seems more seamless. The second one is called constant power. It doesn't suit that much so the next one is called exponential fade. It was okay, let's try the last one logarithmic fade. Not bad at all, but I will definitely choose the first one. Now let's try this with voice and ambient sound. Once again transition of scenes require transition of audio and uh, to apply audio transitions you need the audio tracks in the same track. So let's try to add these transitions in the audio file. It sounds much better now. Let me show you the next three. The second transition seems quite okay. This one nicely fade in and fade out. You decide which audio transition was perfect for this scenario. Next, I'm gonna show you a very very interesting feature called Auto Bit Sync, which you can find by right clicking the media on the media tab. What it does is it will automatically highlight and choose the best moments of your footage and mix them according to the bits of the background music. You can set the bit cut speed and video effects like RGB, glow, video wall or blur effects. Let me show you the output. Click on analyze to start processing the bits and rhythm of the background music. Then it will split the video into small clips and arrange them to match the bits. So that's how it works, such a cool feature. You need to set these parameters first. So let me add some video effects and see what happens. So this is what auto bit sync is. Definitely try on the Filmora 12. Once you export this into your project, you can see that the clip has been splitted into several small clips with sound effects and video effects. Some clips are even sped up or slowed down. So these are the two features I wanted to talk about on the Filmora 12. I hope that today's episode was useful. Keep creating.